iPadOS 18 is now available for both you and your students by going to Settings, tapping on General, and going to Software Update. Mine has already updated, but if yours hasn't, you will see an option here to update. Let's take a look at some of the cool new features of iPadOS 18. First, let's look at Control Center. When you swipe down from the upper right-hand corner of your screen, you will see the Control Center you might be familiar with. What you might not notice, though, are some new cool controls that will help you to customize your control center. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll notice you now have a power button, which will quickly power down your device. First, on the right-hand side, you now have groups of controls. You can tap to view your favorites, your now playing menu, or your connectivity settings. You can even add your own groups if you want to. Next, you can customize controls right from this menu, rather than having to go to settings. To do this, simply tap on the plus button in the upper left-hand corner of Control Center, or tap in any of the open space that's available around your Control Center. Next, tap the Add a Control button at the bottom. Here, you can add your favorite controls right to Control Center. One of my favorites is screen recording, which can be great for recording a lesson. It can also be a great way for your students to show what they have learned. To add screen recording, I'll simply tap on screen recording and you'll see that it's added. Mine's red right now because I'm recording a video. On any of the controls that have the handle showing in the bottom right hand corner, you can stretch them to make the control larger. You can also move them around to whatever location you would like them to be in. If I know I want to have easy access to my camera, I can move it down and make it a little larger. And if I change my mind, I can shrink it back down and move it right back where it was. You can also now add controls for things like translate. And you can add a variety of different controls by simply scrolling down the list to see what's available. Support is now offered for third party controls as well. So you might see some new ones you've never seen before. If you know exactly what you're looking for, use the search bar at the top to search through all of the controls available. It's also important to note that accessibility features can also be added to the control center. To further customize your control center, you can even add an additional page. Tap on the empty page, then choose to add some controls there. I'll use this page for some accessibility settings that I want to have quick and easy access to. First, I'll add guided access, which can lock students into a specific app so that they can focus on their work. Then, I'll add assistive touch, which easily toggles on and off my assistive touch menu. Similar to the control center, the assistive touch menu can give your students or yourself fast and easy access to different tools on your iPad. It can also make for a great pointer when showing students things to do on their iPads. Toggling assistive touch on or off from the control center makes the assistive touch button appear or disappear based on your needs. If you use the notes app, you might notice this notification showing you that there is improved handwriting readability available now in notes. You can turn on auto refined handwriting quickly and easily by tapping the blue button. Let's check it out. As you can see, my normal handwriting isn't the cleanest, even when using a stylus. By tapping on the dot 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 in the lower right hand corner, I can turn on auto refine handwriting. Now let's give it another try. Here comes the magic part. My text was shifted to align the bottom and was adjusted to make it a little more readable while still maintaining my handwriting style. If I want to be sure that my handwriting is readable to other people as well, I can even use the scribble tool by tapping on the pen with the A in the bottom toolbar. Now, when I complete my notes in handwriting, they will be automatically changed into typing. While this feature isn't new to iPadOS 18, it's an important one to share as it can make your note taking even easier. iPadOS 18 also makes it easier to customize your home screen. When you tap and hold, you'll see the familiar jiggle where you can tap the minus button on any app to delete it. You can also, though, now move your apps to any portion of your screen that you would like. They will still automatically snap to the grid, but you can now leave spaces if you'd like. Tapping in the upper left-hand corner and then tapping Customize will open up a menu where you can choose if you like to see your icons light, dark, automatic, which will shift with the time of day, 
or tinted, where you can choose a specific tinted color for all of your app icons. Using this menu, you can also choose between small icons or larger ones, noting that the large icons will not show you the name of the app underneath. Choose whatever works best for you, then tap in the open space to save your changes. iPadOS 18 also brings some awesome changes to Safari Reader. As a reminder, Safari Reader can help you easily eliminate ads that can be distracting when you are looking at content on a website. To access it, simply tap on the Reader options in the menu bar, then tap Show Reader. You can see that all the advertising has been removed, and now I have a simple, clean experience looking through the text in any related photos on this page of the website. Well, in Reader View, you can also change the font size if you need to, or even adjust the color or font itself. You can also tap Listen to Page to have the page read aloud to you. Apple Pie by Grand Mobile. You can even pause, fast forward, rewind, or listen at a different speaking rate to match your needs. To exit Reader View, you can simply tap and hold on it in the menu bar. Reader also has some great new features when it comes to removing distracting items. Say you don't want to go completely into reader mode, but you find a little bit of the content distracting. You can simply tap Hide Distracting Items, then select whatever's bothering you and tap hide. You will see that those pieces of content will disappear. When you're done, tap the done button. You may have heard of a cool new feature called Math Notes, which solves problems automatically as soon as you enter an equals sign. While this feature can be great for solving those quick math problems, it can be problematic for students as it gives them quick and easy access to all the answers they might need. Math teachers, rest assured that this feature is currently disabled for our students, ensuring that they can focus on learning their math skills instead of letting their iPad do it for them. iPad OS 18 also brings the calculator to iPad and we'll have more information on that soon. These are just a few of the highlights of the features that are part of the new iPadOS 18 update. For more information on any of these updates, visit the Apple Education Community, apple.com support, or check out the Apple Support channel on YouTube.